Hey guys, Classic Homer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. So, it's been a little while since I recorded this game because, well, I got horribly sick at the beginning of April. So, I couldn't record for like two weeks. And then it was easier to record shorter things rather than big long games like, you know, this where I need to record in 40 minute sessions per video. If I have battles anyway. So, last time we got to Escantha and checked around with everyone. This time we're actually going to go and raid the castle and figure out what's going on with the king. Because apparently he's super depressed from his wife dying. And... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Apparently it's natural for soldiers to be like little rough scallions when they're kids. I kinda thought he was gonna give me more of a hint about that huge mountain we saw in the distance. Which I think there is a treasure over near the base of it that doesn't involve going down that path that actually lets you get inside of it. That I didn't explore, so I'm gonna have to go and do that at some point. I don't remember what's in it offhand. Oh cool, that just led me back around outside. But it's worth getting. It's probably locked with, like, the thief key. Or maybe not even locked at all. At this point, being locked with the thief key is like not being locked at all. And... Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I'm... taking a long way around the castle right now. It's kind of cool how you can actually see the drapes as you're going around, though. They're not just something they put out on the exterior of the castle, like when you're out in town or not quite in town yet. Hmm. Red mold and herbs. Mold's gonna be good for crafting later if I really get into it. Mostly for cheese, maybe for other things. Oh, that's right. I just remembered. I should totally put something in the alchemy pot right now if I haven't already. I feel like a complete moron for not having remembered this earlier. Or not even remembered, but found this out. If you take two farmer scythes and alchemize them, you will get a amazing axe for Genghis. Like, this would outclass anything we could have gotten before now, and will outclass anything we can get until at least the next town. And, spoilers, we have a whole dungeon to go through. That wasn't the back button. We have a whole dungeon to go through before we can even go to the next town. Now, I suppose you could run there if you wanted. But, whatever. I think those things cost like 900 gold, so... If you've got the extra 1,800 to pop down and get Yangus a good axe, do it. Like... It's such a huge oversight. I'm kind of embarrassed that I hadn't noticed before. As you can see, most of the castle here loops around on itself. So, just kind of walking around here trying to figure out what places have goodies that I haven't been to yet. I think I've gone to pretty much everything. And now, oh, nope, there's one more floor. I was going to say I'm getting to the king's audience room here, but not quite. Apparently that's his dining room. And this should be something similar. Yeah, it looks like a guest room or something. Ooh, cabinets. Or dressers, I'm not sure what you call these. Nice. Too many medals in one castle. And it doesn't look like I can examine any of those books. Or that note. Hmm. So when there's more things to fiddle with there. Well, fine, we'll talk to the minister. Maybe he'll give us some kind of insight or something about what we can do for the king. Because, I mean, come on, that's awesome to have a king in your debt, right? But, she's... How can you mourn for two years straight like that? Like, as a nation? It's just ridiculous. 
Ah, enough of those kings being no wuss. Let's go barge on down his door and give him what for. Are you feeling all right, Your Majesty? It's me, Emma, the maid. <laughs> I like how she says Emma instead of Emma. I see you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, Your Majesty. Please answer me. I just want to make sure you're alright. Oh, she's such a dutiful maid. Very well. We'll leave you in peace. Excuse me. Although, I can't really imagine why she'd be serving a king who hasn't responded to her in two years. I feel like that might get just a little old. And if we try to go in, the door is locked and we can't knock on it to get him to open it. Not that we're led to believe he ever would open it if we did knock. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. He doesn't want to see anyone. He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. See, he can say Emma. Something about her accent just makes her put R's on the end of all of her A's. But. I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. I just don't know what to suggest. Get a new king. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the king of Ascanther? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid his majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late queen began. Two years ago. He comes down to the royal suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. I don't mean to be mean when I laugh. I mean, I like her accent. I just can't get over a scanther. Okay, so apparently we need to come back when it's night. That's not a big problem. We can do that. After all, we can rest until night at the inn. Alternatively, I could go and bash on monsters until daylight, or nightfall. And then again until daylight after I'm done talking to them. But I don't really feel the need to do that right now. Although I do want my alchemy pot to finish alchemizing. Where is the inn? Over there. Yeah, it's been way too long since I played this. And it doesn't help I'm playing like four or five other RPGs at the same time. <laughs> That's not the way to do business. What? Stay here! You're out of your mind! So, yeah, I've run myself good and clean out of money because of doing things to, well, get more stuff to make cool things. In fact, I think... Yeah, I have a short list of things I sold or I'm going to make. Like I said, I'm making the Iron Axe for Jengus. I want to make a pair of bunny ears for Jessica, which is just the bunny tail mixed with her old hairband. And I'm going to want to, well, I'm not going to want to sell these things. I'm pretty sure I already did sell them. But I sold off my anything, any sets of plain clothes, silk robes, chain mails, or iron lances I had. Because I'm not going to have anything else to alchemize with them. 
or any other use for them. I could have hung on to the Iron Lance, I think, to make a better sphere for the hero. But it... I don't know. If I think it would... It would take the Holy Talisman I have, and I want to save that for a different item later. That's what it was. Hey, look, it's the king, and he's put his face where your ass goes. Time has not stopped for your kingdom, man. You really need to get back to doing your job. I need to get back to having a job. Alright, well... As you can see, he's completely distraught and... won't even notice that we're here. He's just gonna... whine and grovel, putting his face... right where his ass cheeks are supposed to go. Oh, oh that reminds me. If I had gone to the church, you would have found Emma praying there. But... She would just tell you, I think, to go see the king if we want to. Did you meet with his majesty in the royal suite? Yeah, sort of. I must explain. The king is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offense. Plenty of offense. I stood right there and all he did was cry! You see... He's never been quite the same since Queen Sasha died two years ago. Her name is Sasha. <laughs> if only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. I'm sure it would. Everyone wants to see a loved one who's passed on. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. Is that so? I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I, I just can't remember it. I'm sure hmm. she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but I'm so busy with work here at the castle. I think we've met her grandmother before. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. Okay. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a bridge. Yeah, we've been there. Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? Sure. Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but if there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but there's so much to do here at the castle, and I... I can't leave him on his own. I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I'm not going to laugh. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. Not going to laugh too much. <laughs> There must be something wrong with me. Someone putting an R at the end of a word that ends with A should not catch me off guard as being so funny. So, apparently we need to go see her grandmother. And we've already talked to her once before. Pretty sure she actually said she had a granddaughter named Emma working in the castle. So, it shouldn't be too big a deal to go there. What I'm thinking about doing, though, is heading there between videos, because, well, I do want that alchemy pot to finish. And the more time I spend walking around, the better chance that's going to have of actually getting done in time. Just checking here to make sure there isn't anything else I wanted to do. I think I do want to get better equipment, but I don't have any more money. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to end this video here. And next time, I'll see you over at the house with the old lady. In fact, I might even make a trip out to that treasure chest I mentioned earlier. So, for now, Classic Homer signing out. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, Classic Homer coming back in real fast for a quick addition to that video. I completely forgot as soon as you walk out of town, there's a scene with Trode. 
Sorry, you missed his amazing dialogue of Hmm, I see. Magnificent! What a dutiful maid! Worrying about her master so. I am impressed. I'm frightened. A faithful retainer like her is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? Very well. Now this is an order. I want you to help this maid with her request. Seriously. Creepy looking dudes like that should not do that with their face. I beg your pardon? A detour? Well, if you get onto it quickly, it won't be a problem, will it? Whatever, old man. Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours. Mine? Makes it sound like I can go and marry her. Okay, so. Now I'm off to run to the house on the edge of the river. Next to the church. You could actually just teleport there using the zoom spell, but I'm not gonna. See, it is right there. Riverside Chapel, it's right next to that. If you want to take the easy way to do it, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding on the way there. So, now I'm actually signing out, and I will see you guys next episode.